Okay. Uh, dear young colleagues, uh, greetings from the European Parliament. My name is Heidi Hautala. Uh, I am uh, the co-president of the Euronest Parliamentary Assembly, which is the parliamentary dimension of the um, Eastern Partnership. Uh, Euronest is a forum to promote political association and further integration between the European Union and its eastern neighbours. Its aim is to strengthen and make the Eastern Partnership more visible. And I'm very happy to be able to, to uh, contribute to your seminar with this short message, as you, uh, the Cooperation and Development Network, have the same aim to promote more cooperation between Europeans and especially in the East. I'm happy to hear that you want to establish new bridges and friendships through your project by fostering the cooperation between green youth of Turkey and Armenia. It's badly needed. As it is uh, the centennial of the Armenian genocide, I also want to pay tribute to all the victims. I urge all the countries to recognize the genocide. As Green, I want to congratulate you for your work to strengthen green ideology through education, provision of expertise and support to member organizations. Your topic is uh, well connected with uh, environmental uh, and green ideology. It is important that common goods and resources are governed communally. Natural resources have to be managed sustainably and in a transparent way. In my home country, Finland, the whole green movement started from defending our common natural resources and environment. In 1979, which is quite long ago, we, uh, the Greens of Finland, protested against drying of a lake called Koijärvi. That was an important bird habitat. The rest is history. Koijärvi became the symbol of the Green Movement. Still today, we have to defend in Finland the last freely running rapids and fight against the dams. I have also encountered problems of privatization of commons in the developing countries. At the moment, uh, in the European Parliament, we are following up on the first successful European Citizens' Initiative uh, under the title Water and Sanitation are a Human Right. Water is a public good, not a commodity. This Right to Water initiative invites the European Commission to propose legislation implementing the human right to water and sanitation as recognized by the United Nations and promoting the provision of water and sanitation as essential public services for all. So, this initiative urges the EU institutions and member states be obliged to ensure that all inhabitants enjoy the right to water and sanitation. Uh, it says that water supply and management of water resources are not to be subject to internal market rules and that water services should be excluded from liberalization. The EU uh, is to increase, according to this initiative, its efforts to achieve universal access to water and sanitation. So, I uh, strongly support this initiative and I hope it will be finally successful, because the human right to water and sanitation was explicitly recognized by the United General Assembly and Human Rights Council in 2010. Still, in the world today, at least 600 million people do not have sustainable access to safe drinking water and a third of the world population lacks basic sanitation. A few years back, I had the privilege to function as Minister for International uh, Development of Finland. Um, I highlighted the importance of uh, transparent and sustainable management and governance of natural resources. Um, I just spoke about water, but we could also spoke about forests, we could talk about wildlife, we, talk, we could talk about mining resources, minerals, etc. And all of these uh, resources could be used for the benefit of people, but only if there is a transparent and accountable governance available. And that's why I think it's very important that um, uh, the international networks that uh, make uh, governments um, um, uh, go through reforms in this way are supported. Uh, it also has a, a big implication to tax policies because um, international companies um, make sometimes very obscure agreements with uh, developing countries uh, whereby the country governments uh, are not really profiting from uh, mining of, uh, of important uh, natural resources. And we also see, as a consequence, uh, big damages to nature and uh, violations of human rights. So um, uh, I would like to, to uh, emphasize to you the importance of, of working internationally also to, to promote tax transparency. 
fortunately, more and more international organizations and countries are accepting that uh, all the tax um, payments and revenues should be made publicly available so that people can see that uh, companies also operate in, an, in a responsible way. With these examples, I'd like to wish you a very fruitful conference and I hope to be in the South Caucasus in the near future. Thank you very much.